Hey guys, Dane here. In this video, I show you how to build wall-to-wall -wall shoe racks in your closet. First, we'll need to build some wall mounts. I cut a 2x2 board to 8 inch long pieces, two for each rack. They don't need to be exactly 8 inches. Then cut a 45 degree angle on one end. This will help them stay hidden when the racks are placed on top. Next, we'll drill a couple holes in each mount. The holes will need to be the same size or slightly larger than the screws you'll be using to mount them to the wall. The placement of the holes don't need to be perfect, just fairly centered widthwise and a couple inches in from the ends. Now we'll decide where we want the mounts. My racks are going in our coat closet, so I took a board and lined it up a couple inches lower than the bottom of our coats. I then marked where the bottom of the board sat, about three inches in from the back wall. I'll be using a 1 by 10 inch board for my rack, and I wear a size 10 and a half, so my shoes will need that extra few inches. Then line a square tool up with a mark on its back corner. Place a small level on top, level the square out, and make a mark at 15 degrees. You'll want to get the measurements for the initial mark from the back wall and the floor, so we know where to mark the opposite wall. Now we can line a mount up with the marks and use the same drill bit to create guide holes in the wall. If there's no studs where your guide holes are like mine, you'll need some drywall anchors. The drill bit you use should be the same or slightly smaller than the anchors. If it's smaller, you'll probably need to tap them in with a hammer. Then drill the screws in and do a quick tug test to ensure the anchors are secure. Use the measurements from the initial mark to repeat the process on the opposite wall. If you're doing a second rack like myself, do another set of mounts about seven inches down from the first set. Once both mounts are in place, measure the length from wall to wall. You'll want to cut your board about a quarter inch shorter than this measurement. For each rack, you'll need two 1 by 2 boards of the same length. Then we'll sand each board. I used common pine, which is pretty soft, so I just did a once over each board with 150 grit sandpaper. If you're using higher quality wood, you may need to start with a lower grade, like 60 or 80 grit and work your way up to 150 or 200 grit, depending on how smooth you wish to make it. Don't worry about sanding the ends at this point. To connect the 1x2s to the main boards, we're going to use a pocket hole jig set and drill some pocket holes into the bottom of the main boards. Since we're drilling holes into a 1x10, set the jig and drill bit to the 3 quarter mark because the board is actually 3 quarters inch thick. Drill a hole about an inch in from each end. Then drill holes about every 10 inches do this for each side. Now we'll clamp the end of a 1x2 along one side of the board so that the short edge is lined up on the side without the pocket holes. Adjust the 1x2 until the short edge is flush with the main board where the pocket hole is before tightening the clamp. Then drill in the pocket hole screw. You'll most likely need to repeat this adjusting and clamping process with each screw because it's unlikely the boards align perfectly, especially since it's easy for 1x2 boards to warp and bow. Take the second 1x2 and repeat this process along the other side so that the short edge is lined up on the side with the pocket holes. Now we can sand the ends just enough to get the boards flush. This step may not be necessary if your racks are in a closet like mine and the ends won't be visible. The final step is painting or staining. I decided to paint mine white because I want to keep it simple and plan on painting everything in the coat closet white eventually. After letting them dry overnight, they are ready to go in. One thing I love about these racks is that they are easy to insert and remove. So when the shelves get dirty, you can take them out and easily clean them and the floor underneath. I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching.